Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Okay, y'all. I did. I'm still continuing my Super Bowl uh, menu items this week. Now I'm gonna hit you with a curveball. Give you a little history of this before I get started. Uh, this is the most eaten dessert at my Super Bowl party. My banana pudding. But I make it a little differently for my Super Bowl than I do any other time. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because number one, I have to make this the day ahead. Number two, I need to create a recipe that I'm not taking all day to make. Number three, I need something that will sit up and present well on the Super Bowl day. So I come up with this recipe that's non-baked. I use a lot of store-bought, I use actually store-bought pudding, but I kind of doctor it up a little. So I don't have to spend so much time concentrating on making boiling milk and all that. Because like I told y'all before, I make 20 to 25 items for my Super Bowl parties, traditionally. I don't have time. I have to limit my time and really use my time efficiently. So I had to create a way to do that. So I come up with this recipe. I call it my Super Bowl banana pudding. That's what I call it. And believe me, I make a lot of it. And I'm going to show you how I do it and present it. And there's none left when the party's over. People's taking it to go. I, I usually get to eat one bowl if I'm lucky. So anyway, let's get started. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And we're going to get started here. Okay, I'm going to move some stuff out the way. These are all the ingredients that I'm going to need. I had up here for my uh, preview picture. So I'm going to move the uh, cookies out the way. Because all I'm going to need right now is the pudding, evaporated milk, and the milk. And the whole milk. Other stuff I'm gonna put up out the way for right now. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, got a bowl here. I'm gonna put uh, two cups of milk. Like I said, I had to create this y'all on the fly, and I've been doing this for 28 years. Not 20, man, over 20 years. This the recipe. So I don't do, I don't go to according to the recipe on this box. Oh, I need to get a little vanilla. No vanilla, I don't need the vanilla. I need for my Okay, this is two cups. I need two cups of milk to see here. This is a two cup container. Hold on, just a Hold on, I'll be right back, y'all. I gotta do something here. Okay, y'all, I'm back here. Okay, make sure I got this right. I, when I was initially did this recipe, y'all, I, uh, I just dumped stuff in the bowl. I wanna make sure I got it right for y'all. Okay. Okay, there's two cups of milk there. I got the recipe on the description of the video too, y'all. Okay, two cups of whole milk. Put a little bit of my sweet and condensed milk, which I absolutely love this stuff, y'all. Who doesn't love sweet and condensed milk? Put that in here. Put this around. Okay, make sure you get all that goodness out of there, y'all. All that goodness out of there. Okay, but yeah, like I was saying, I need to create a recipe. When you create a recipe, you have a lot of failures too. So uh, I say I need to create something that I can make on the fly and uh, still have a good uh, presentation. I'll mix that around a little bit. You know, that's goodness already. Milk and, and uh, sweet and condensed milk. Can't get no wrong with that. Now, we're going to put some vanilla pudding here. It's, it's, the, it's the instant pudding, not the one you cook. The instant pudding here. See y'all see what I'm doing here. I'm going to make sure you see what I'm doing. I know cameraman today. I'm just sprinkle that in there. And this stuff sets up pretty quick, y'all. So you gotta kind of work with it quickly. I just want to get all the lumps out of it. Get all them lumps out of there. You don't need no mixer. Don't use God's mixer. Your arm, the one God gave you. Sometimes the best mixer it is. What the, that's the old school mixer, y'all. It's the original old school mixer. The one at the end of your, at the end of your shoulders here. Okay. Got all them lumps out of there, make sure you get every lump, that's the key. 
I got a friend of mine, and when he comes to my party, I make this about four times. I make it every Super Bowl, and then I, when I have other sporting parties at my house throughout the year, I have one friend, been my friend of mine for ooh, 28 years, 29 years, and he always <laughs> look for the banana pudding. Okay, now we're gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it set up. It don't take long once it's set up. Get it in there. And let it chill. Now, while it's chilling, we're gonna whip up some cream here. Let me just let y'all stay with me here. You like say I'll be right back and all that, but I'm gonna just let the camera roll here today, y'all. Clean in here. Okay. Now, now we're going to add some heavy cream to this because we're going to make some whipped cream. It's going to serve two purposes. I'm going to mix some with the pudding and uh, I'm going to fold some with the pudding and I'm going to put some on top. So we're going to do three cups of this. right here and one more here I'm gonna do this so y'all really for this one I really had to most time I dump all this stuff in here just to get <laughs> this going so I'm gonna do it to show y'all how to exactly do this okay now all we're gonna do with this we're gonna bring it and whip it up put about three tablespoons of sugar in here a little sweetness to it Put a little vanilla in here. Keep my vanilla out. Put a little vanilla in here. About three teaspoons, kind of high there. And we're going to mix this up, whip it up. Now be careful when you're whipping cream. So you know when you over whip cream, it turns to butter. So you definitely don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to do that, y'all. I know y'all gonna say this is not traditional, uh, Now the pudding. It's not, but when you do it as much as I'm doing, this is you're getting to get, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna put a towel over this, so we're gonna turn this mixer up a little. And I don't want all that thing going everywhere. y'all see why I put the towel up there. But let me tell you one thing about putting the towel. Put the towel on there, but make sure you check it. This happened to me. Put the towel on there and forget about it and I have butter. But we'll be right back when I get the clean whip and we'll go to the next step. We'll be right back. All right, y'all be back here. This is what you want here on the cream. Mix it up in there. That's what you want on your head, on your on your whipping cream. That's what you want. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. Y'all still with me here? Y'all my mixer there. And get too messy today. Like I did my pound cake. If y'all seen that recipe. Okay, I use real now that's another key. I use real vanilla wafer. I didn't use no all brand food club, nothing like that. I use vanilla wafers. That's the only cookie I ever use the banana pudding. What I like to do, I like to open up my cookies here. Pour them already, pour them in a the bowl. So when I'm building my pudding, 
the cookies are already in the bowl. Now, I also like to do this when nobody's around my house, nobody's around. So I guarantee you, you're doing this with other people around, they're going to be done, ate your cookies up. And that's a pet fee of mine. Get out of my cookies. I can't even have enough for the pudding. So anyway, now, next thing I'm going to do, I like to get a bowl for this too and put my bananas in it. I, need to, I like to have everything set. Of course, I do the banana last minute. But you don't want to run brown on you. But this is so easy to put quick to put together, y'all. And I'm going to do nice circles with these bananas. Because the way I present it, I'm going to try to do them, cut them as nice as I can. That's another thing that's important. And nice circles on these things. So what I do, I put them together so they're consistent. You can cut them as thin and thick as you want, y'all. I use four to five bananas when I do mine. Of course, a little bit of them down. You can, and that's it. And I'm put them in a bowl here. Okay. Put them here. Pop of them. And you know when you do your bananas, you want to make sure they're not too ripe and not too hard. You want to be perfectly, perfectly ripe like these. That's the key. Okay. Nice cut there. Nice little circles. Whipped cream is done. Cookies are open. Okay, now. Actually, I'm going to move this cutting board out of the way. Give me a little bit more room. So we can assemble our pudding here. Now, remember that pudding that we put in the refrigerator? You're going to get it out. See how it's set up already? It don't take long. It take long at all to set up. Okay, now, what I'm going to do now, I like to do this. Give it one more good whisk. One whisk here. One more good whisk here. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Good, nice and smooth. That's the key, y'all. But you just going to set up later on. Okay, now, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold in three quarters of this cream here. Three quarters of this cream I'm going to fold in and I'm going to leave the other fourth of it. Y'all, excuse me, I like to clean as I go. Y'all know that already. Okay, three quarters of this cream we're going to put in here. And we're going to save a little for the top. Gonna say that much for the top. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna fold this in here just like this. Just like this. So what this gonna create, you're gonna have a nice airy banana pudding, y'all. Guarantee you, people gonna I guarantee you you're gonna say, wow, that's an awesome idea. Yeah. Like I say had to think of a way. And some people eat fools. Some, I fooled some of my friends, but some of them, they, oh, this ain't homemade, but this is awesome. So, just fold that in there like that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't go wrong with this, y'all. Oh, yeah. Now. Bit more, let's get all that air out of it. 
There we go. Now, got that done. Okay. Here come the fun. <clears throat> Assembling this, put it together. Now I have my trifle bowl here. It's this way of presentation. Y'all know I'm all about presentation. So I'm gonna show you how I present mine every year. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I put cookies in the bottom, bottom down. This video is gonna take a while to do, y'all, because I'm gonna show y'all pretty much step by step how to make a nice presentation here. Okay. Now, got the cookies in there. One more in here. Now, we're going to put some pudding in here. Try to be as careful as I can. Alright. Now, I'm going to smooth this pudding around. <clears throat> there we go. Now, I'm going to put some more cookies. Down again. Always, I like to do them face down, y'all. Okay, now, I'm going to go on the side here and put cookies around. Just like that. I do the, I do the round side out for the presentation. This takes time, a little time, but I guarantee you it's worth it. I guarantee you, when you walk into my house on a party, you can say people eat with their eyes, and the smell and the aroma of what I'm cooking is amazing. Okay, now, put the bananas now. Make sure they're nice and flat. That's the key, make sure they're flat, not just sitting up, if possible. Y'all see her watching? Or y'all bored? Y'all probably say, what is this man doing? Okay, now, more pudding. A little bit more of that. <clears throat> Smooth this around. See how nice that is? Okay, now, same concept, cookies down. I'm going around with bananas to the side. Just push it to the side. All the way around. See that? See, it's not hard, y'all. Take a little time. That right there. One more in here. Okay. Move these bananas around. Make sure they're nice and evenly. More pudding. Get off of there. Now y'all get the idea of what I'm doing now, huh? So I'm going to step off, I'm going to finish putting the layers, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish it off. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back? Okay. I got another, y'all see what I've done. I got cookies, banana cookies. Now, I'm going to put the rest of the pudding here on top. 
remaining pudding gonna go right up here on top, y'all. Just like that. Smooth it around. Alrighty. Now, I'm still not through. Y'all probably say, what are you gonna do with that whipped cream? I'm about to show you. Now. Okay. Now, move this bowl out the way. Now that remaining whipped cream, we're gonna put that right on top, y'all, just like this. I guarantee you, y'all, y'all make this recipe, your family and friends, it's gonna be a wow. They ain't gonna care nothing about the game. They're gonna be wondering, oh man, where's the banana pudding at? Is there any more of that banana pudding left? Move that to the side just like that. See that? Now, a bit more of that. We don't want to waste not. Now, one more thing. You know the little cookies that be crumbled up in there in the bottom? What I do? I break a few cookies. Break a few of them cookies that be broke up. I break them up a little bit more, and I sprinkle them right on top, just like this, y'all. Right on top, just like that. There we go. There we go. Now, that's your banana pudding. That's a Super Bowl banana pudding, y'all. I've been doing it for years. It takes a little time, but it doesn't take as long as time as cooking it, the, 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 the thing on the stove, having to let it cool off, letting it chill, this took about, it took really 10 minutes to do. It took me longer right now because I was showing y'all, but if I was in the kitchen by myself throwing it together, it wouldn't took me but 10 minutes. So anyway, I'm going to let this sit in the refrigerator for about an hour because I want to let it completely get set up. Then I'm going to come back y'all and we're going to Get me a big bowl of this old school banana pudding, new style, Super Bowl style. I'm going to call it my Super Bowl banana pudding. So we'll be right back in about an hour. Okay, y'all, we are back here. And it's time to taste this banana pudding. Let me share with y'all something how I, if you was to come to one of my Super Bowl party, or football party, any sports party, any party I have in my house. Like I say, I make a banana pudding like this. But I also make the same way in these little bowls here. And I have two types. I have those little front in the in the front. Then I have some like this that I put in the back. All it has banana pudding in it. And when the people come, they can have a choice. You know, little kids might be here and that's all they can eat. And then the people might not want to line and get this one. And then you have this. Well, I have other bowls, you know, around my plates, paper plates and things. Where you can scoop out of this also. But yeah. But most time, 99% of the time, all this is completely gone. I usually have 20 to 25 people at my house most of the time during the Super Bowl. Like I say, this year I'm not, so it is what it is. I'll just share this with my neighbors. But anyway, let me move these out of the way. I just want to show y'all how I set it up if it was a real Super Bowl party. Okay, let's scoop in here. That's a big scoop of this. A bit more here. I know this is gonna be so good, y'all. I like creamy banana pudding, y'all. Okay, let's try it out again here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you, y'all. It's not homemade, but it's awesome. This sets up longer in the refrigerator without seeping and splitting apart than uh. Homemade. Mm, mm, mm. That's why I do it like this. But anyway, maybe something a tradition y'all can start. Like I said, I've been doing this over 20 years, this particular one, only for for my football parties and little parties I have at my house. I love to entertain in my house. You should see one, you should go back and look at my Super Bowl party from last year. Maybe I'll put a link in the beginning, end of this video. I did a little live on Facebook Live. And I moved it over here. So I'll pull a link. Y'all can check it out. But yeah, I have uh, 
I just love entertaining and love to cook for family and friends. It's just exciting to me. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter, uh, Twitch TV, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag this year is uh, Help Somebody Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day. See y'all next video.